guys, welcome back to another video. So today will be my fourth Crabitat review. I know that you guys have wanted one of these for a long time. I believe the last one was back at a thousand subscribers, so quite a while ago. Before we begin, I am excited to announce that these Crabitat review videos will now become a monthly special. So that means that I will be uploading one on the first of every month. Also, a lot of people have sent me photos of their Crabitat, and I have promised to review them. However, I don't want these videos to be overly long, so I'm doing them on a first-come, first-serve basis, which means that I will review Crabitats in the order that I receive them. But please don't be discouraged if I promise to review your Crabitat and you don't see it in this video. I'm going in the order that I receive them, and I will eventually feature it. So let's jump right into this first one. So this is a 55 gallon tank with a 20 gallon topper, meaning that the 20 sits on top of the 55, giving the crabs more space for climbing. This is actually the same setup that I have, so it totals 75 gallons. They have six crabs, their substrate is 10 inches and is a mix of play sand and eco earth, which again is the same thing that I use. To heat the Crabitat, they use two heat pads and one heat lamp, which is perfectly fine. You can use either method or a combination of both. However, heat lamps are harder to regulate the temperature and can really dry out your Crabitat if they're used incorrectly, which is why heat mats or heat pads are recommended over heat lamps, but you can still use them. First of all, I love the substrate. I truly think that substrate is one of the most important things in order to have healthy crabs. And this substrate is deep and looks nice and moist. So great job on that. I also like the pools, nice and big so that the crabs can fully submerge. The whole tank has a very natural feel to it, and I see a lot of areas for the crabs to climb and hide, so it looks very nice. One thing that I would question is do the crabs actually use this ladder? because it was probably meant for a bird, so the rungs are pretty spaced out, and it seems like it would be hard for a crab to climb. I'm just not sure that they would. If it was mine, I would probably wrap it in twine or burlap to make it more appealing to the crabs and easier for them to climb. Also, the top of the ladder appears to have metal hooks, and I would see if you can remove those, because metal should not be in a crab attack. The reason for this is that it will get rusty very fast with the high humidity, and many metals contain toxins that can kill crabs, so I would definitely try to take those off. I would also move the heat lamp because with where it is placed, it seems that the crabs can climb up the background and onto the lamp. This is unsafe because the crabs have accidentally burned themselves or cooked themselves alive by touching a heat lamp or being too close to one. Overall though, this crab tat is looking great and I'm sure that your crabs are very happy with you. I don't have a lot of info on this next one, but I do know that they have four hermit crabs. They didn't give me a size on the tank, but it appears anywhere from a 10 gallon to a 20 gallon and possibly a 29 gallon. This is another crab attack with good substrate. I don't know exactly how deep it is, but unless they have large crabs, it should be deep enough, and it has eco earth, which helps to keep the humidity high. I also really like all the extra shells. It looks like the crabs have a ton of different options. I would suggest maybe making a shell shop or somehow getting those shells elevated to a second level, and that would give a lot more floor space. I can see that they are using an analog thermostat that is made for reptiles. I've reviewed those ones in the past, and they really either don't work or break very quickly, plus they're expensive. Digital ones made for the outdoors, for example, I use an Accurite one, those tend to work much better and to be cheaper, so I would definitely recommend one of those. I'm not sure about the foil on top of the lid. I imagine the goal was to help keep heat in, and it might help with that, but the screen lid also has a lot of gaps that would allow humidity to escape and it would dry out the tank. Maybe a better option would be to cover the lid with plastic wrap first, that would keep the humidity in, and then add foil or a blanket or something else on top to help keep the heat in. This next one has two hermit crabs. They've owned the crabs for two years and have a 20 gallon tank. They also have a topper, but they didn't tell me the size on the topper and I assume it's a 10 gallon. Regardless of the topper, it is a very nice size tank for two hermit crabs. 
So like I said, a 20 gallon with a 10 gallon topper is a very good size for two hermit crabs. It gives your crabs approximately 15 gallons per crab and the recommended amount that you can have is 5 to 10 gallons per crab. So you could maybe even add one or two more crabs to this setup. I also like that you're using the topper and using as much vertical space as you can. You've added in lots of plants and I think that the light is a nice addition. However, there are a couple things that I'm finding concerning with your setup. The main one being that there is basically no substrate. There is this wood chip type of stuff, but that is not enough space for hermit crabs to molt. They will molt on the surface and probably die. You want your substrate to be three to four times as deep as your largest hermit crab. I would really recommend that you get either play sand or eco earth or a mixture of both and give them that nice deep substrate. I also noticed in the video that was sent that you have one pool that looks pretty nice. It has rocks or something in it and it's a little bit deeper, but then there's two smaller water bowls and those are not deep enough for the crabs to fully submerge. So I'd recommend that you get bigger, deeper water dishes. I also have never seen a setup quite like this where the lid is open. It's actually pretty unique and creative that you were able to fit a smaller tank where it normally wouldn't work as a topper. That's pretty cool. I am curious if you're able to keep humidity up this way because of the lid being open. In most places, you would not be able to keep the humidity high enough and the temperature is high enough, but I could see this working if you live in a warm, humid environment year round. All right, so our next one is the owner of four hermit crabs. They've owned the crabs for over seven years, which is very impressive. These crabs were rescued, which is really great to see. Most people buy them from the pet store, and if you want to see my opinion on purchasing hermit crabs, I'll leave a link to that up above. It is a little bit controversial because all hermit crabs are wild caught, and a lot of people think they shouldn't be taken out of the wild. All right, so this is a nice looking crab attack here. I like all the chola wood, which at some point I do want to buy more chola wood and make a video on that, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Chola is really great for hermit crabs because it, one, is very easy for them to climb, two, it looks natural, and three, it is very resistant to mold, which can be a struggle with other types of wood, so I am a big fan of chola. I also really like your pools. They're nice and deep so that the crabs can bathe themselves, and you have the plastic canvas in there and rocks and sponges and stuff for them to climb out on, so they have lots of options for getting out and don't accidentally drown. I would recommend that you remove the sponges from the crab attack just because sponges don't do a lot for hermit crabs. They don't add a lot of humidity and they are very hard to take care of. They grow mold and bacteria very quickly, which can be harmful. So the majority of people find that sponges are more work than they're worth. And I really like that you have nice deep substrate and it's actually quite interesting how you have the slope so that it goes down towards the pools. I've done that a couple times myself and I think it adds another level of enrichment for the crab. I would recommend that you add in a couple more dark hiding places for your crabs. The only one that I really see as being a dark hiding place would be the coconut hide which really isn't big enough for four hermit crabs. So I would try to give them a couple other options for nice dark places when they want to sleep or hide away. So this is our last crab habitat review for today. They recently bought crabs and they fully admit that they're still new to their care. The substrate that they use is EcoEarth and the photos that they sent me are actually an initial setup and then after they learned more about their care and they improved their setup a little bit. So let's have a look at the before. So this is the before and it's very basic. They have one water dish with a sponge, two food dishes, one of those thermostats that don't work, a little cave, and two shells, and one of those shells crabs normally don't use. So even though this crab attack isn't ideal, it is still not bad for a first try and being new to the hermit crab care, it for sure is better than what my first crab attack looked like. So here is the after, and I can see that you definitely improved your care. There is chola wood in here now, there's vines, there's a cuddle bone for calcium, and the pools look so much better. 
You added in some nice deep ones with bubblers to boost the humidity, so great job. As nice as your pools are, they do take up quite a bit of floor space, so I would recommend that you work on your second level. You could add in maybe a rope bridge, maybe buy a hammock, or something along those lines to give your hermit crabs more space, because the pools do take up quite a bit of room. As I said in one of the previous crab habitats, I don't normally recommend the reptile analog thermostats because those don't usually work well and they're very expensive so I'd recommend that you get a digital one either made for reptiles or made for the outdoors otherwise your crab habitat is looking very nice and you're doing a great job for a new owner. Thank you to everyone who sent me photos for reviewing. I really appreciate that you care for your crabs enough to seek more advice on them. You can send me crab habitats to review either through my email or Instagram which will be in the description and I will see you in the next monthly crab habitat review which will be July 1st. See you guys next time. Bye!